Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this is for our friends over at Tube Tape. See there? Tube Tape. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick little tutorial. We've done a lot of things uh, editing video and like uh, doing matte painting and compositing using Photoshop, but I want to show you just simply how to uh, use Photoshop basically to actually to do any kind of video in it. You just simply do open. Uh, what I would do directly after that is simply save and it would end up saving it as a PSD so you actually even end up having your video layer there. Once you've done all that, uh, by no means do I suggest doing like, I don't know, five minute movies or something like that. This is just like little, little quick shots here and there. Uh, this entire shot is actually about 40 seconds long. But uh, what I'm going to do is, I only want 10 seconds of it, so I can come down here to my animation timeline. And by the way, if you don't see that, uh, go to your window and come down and make sure it's set it to animation. The other thing you can do is set uh, the way your layout is set up for, instead of it being essentials, I have mine set up for video and I've just arranged it the way I like it. So basically I can kind of set, this is where my end point or starting point would be and I can grab where the stopping point would be. And I'm just going to do uh, about 10 seconds. And from there, I can simply go to File. And what I want to do is Export, Render Video. Now, what I normally do, uh, let's go ahead and give this a name. And I already know what folder it's going to go into. Let's go to our settings and I'm going to change my settings. Uh, if you're going to continue working on it, I suggest using a setting like a photo JPEG. Uh, just for this example, I'm going to use H.264. Current frame rate, I'm going to tell my frames to be, keyframes to be automatic. Keep everything set at automatic and set everything to best. Um, just because I'm using this as an example, I want it to go pretty quick, so I'm going to do a faster encode here at a single pass. All right, now, now click OK. And you can even tell to prepare for internet streaming. That's if you have like a larger movie or something like that, that's, um, well, any type of movie. It does, it's not going to wait the entire time for the movie to load before it starts playing. So this will start the movie playing before it uh, finishes loading, especially if you're doing this on the internet, so. And we'll click on render. And that's pretty much it. This little window is gonna pop up here. And there you have it. So if we want to actually locate our movie, so here's the movie we just exported. And it plays fine. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. And if you don't have time to make it perfect, Rethink the idea.